watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing such an exciting video. I've been dying to film this video for ages. Today's video is in collaboration with Wheelhouse Pharmacy and the reason why we're doing the collaboration has got to do with this little goodie. This is the Galango Mud Mask and I am so excited that my pharmacy is now stocking it. There's four different masks in the range and one eye mask and we have them all in stock. So I just tried the Glam Glow Super Mud which is this one here and I must say that I am highly impressed. I obviously have just tried it today so I'm not really sure of the full results that are going to come of it but I will keep you updated on that. So I am going to do a demo video and a first impressions video for you today so that you can see me applying this mask, what it looks like on and what I think of it. Every single mask has a different length of time to use it. This one is the Super Mud and it's recommended that you leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just left it on until it dried in. You'll see in the demo that around my nose, which would be kind of like one of my most problematic areas, that there's a little bit of separation going on and you can see like the dirt being extracted. I have a couple of breakouts on my skin at the moment so you'll be able to see them all in the demo and see exactly how the mask performed. It actually kind of clung to those areas a little bit more and took the longest time to dry in. So I'm just going to talk about the different masks that are available in the range. So the first one is obviously the Super Mud. If you do see me looking over here it's because I'm reading exactly what each of these products do and what their designated purpose is so you might find a mask that works best for you. So this one is obviously the Super Mud. It's probably the most famous one and it's probably the one that everybody uses. This is just like my little sample. You can actually buy these in Wheelands for 5 euro. The mask in itself is 56 euro so I recommend getting a little sample for a fiver first to see how it performs for you. You will get two faces out of each one of these masks. So the Super Mud is recommended for problematic skin. There's a six acid blend in this so it has salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, peruvic acid and azelic acid. So the reason why you would use this is if you suffer from blemishes, kind of regular breakouts or every now and then you're just getting breakouts or if you get blackheads which I tend to get across my nose like I said and that would be where you would see the most separation in the demo. There's actually activated charcoal in the super mode so that's what gives it its dark complexion and I presume that's what helps dry up all those spots. This mask is designed to stay on for about 15 minutes. You just keep it on for as long as you feel that you need to until it is fully dry and you will feel it yourself. It gets very tight on your skin and you just know it's time to wash it off. You just use warm water to wash this off as well so it's really simple to take off. The next one in the line is the Youth Mud. Again this would be another popular one. This is supposed to be a little bit thicker. I haven't used this one but it's supposed to be more like a clay and it is more green type colour to it. This would be more for somebody who is looking to help with any ageing problems. So fine lines, wrinkles, you may need to kind of smoothen out your skin. So this would be more for ageing skin. And again that one is left on for about 15 minutes. The next mask in the range is the Power Mud. So this one is designed to cleanse your skin. So it goes on like a mud and then it dries into an oil type base and then you remove it. That one is designed to cleanse, nourish, detox, purify and renew your skin. A little bit more of a treatment for your skin. You leave this one on for six minutes. So the last mask in the range is called the Thirsty Mud and I think you know by the sound of it what this one is for. So this is for people who suffer from dry skin. This is said to moisturize, hydrate, restore, replenish and calm skin. So if you suffer from dry skin this would be the mask for you. This mask is recommended to be left on for 10 minutes and with those masks it's recommended to avoid the eye area. This is called the Bright Mud and it's literally used for around the eye area. This is for dark circles, for brightening your eyes, it's for tired eyes or dry eyes, puffy eyes, things like that. It brings back moisture into the eye area. It is definitely something I need because I suffer terribly bad with under eye dark circles and puffiness to my eyes where I look like I've either been crying or I'm just exhausted looking. So I am definitely going to be purchasing this one. I think it is definitely up my alley. I'm going to take the Super Mud and I'm going to use a foundation brush to actually apply this because I've heard that it's just easier to apply it as well as that you don't overuse the product so you're not wasting any product. So I'm just going to show you the colour of the mask so it's black as you can see because of the charcoal and it will dry to a lighter colour I'm presuming. So I'm just going to put that bit there on my face. Now I'm going to apply the rest with my foundation brush. So I'm just going to give like a thin layer just kind of like the same as when you're applying foundation. And there's kind of little lumps in it. I'm presuming again that that's the charcoal in it. Just to let you know that I am using this on a bare face. And I'm just going to apply this 
everywhere. So the first thing I've noticed from putting this on is that it is really, really cooling. I know with the Youth Fine one, apparently it gives a bit of a tingle to the skin. So I've noticed that this one doesn't do that. And I'm just gonna do a second layer over my nose because like I said, that's my most problematic area. I'm just gonna kind of pat it over my nose. Another thing I'm noticing straight away is that it's drying quite quickly and it's getting a bit tighter. I also put my stopwatch on on my phone just when I applied it first, just to see how long it's actually gonna take to dry. Not to be disgusting about it, but you can see here all my little pores just over my nose, just kind of sucking all the gunk out of them. You can see that they're a little bit darker and just around here I can notice like the gunk is being pulled out. It's pretty fun. I have the mask on three minutes now and it's starting to kind of tighten up a little bit. I'm going to take the Glam Glow Eye Brightening Muds as well. You get two trial sizes. Each little capsule is supposed to do two eyes. Because this has to be left on for a shorter period of time, I'm going to put it on now. I have the mask on four minutes, so I'm just going to do it now because this has to be taken off pretty soon. And I'm just going to put it kind of under my eye circle area. Don't know if you can use these together, but I'm going to. I'm just going to bring it out that far as well. Just if you're wondering what the eye actually looks like, what the eye stuff looks like, it's kind of a beige colour and it has little particles in it. Okay, so I have the mask on seven minutes now and I'm actually going to leave it to the full ten, even though it's pretty much dry. I'm just going to show you what it looks like on my forehead. Can you see all my little pores with all of the gunk kind of been pulled out of it? So guys, I've just removed the mask now. As you can see, like I have a couple of little face demons, but they're kind of scarring, so I'm hoping that it will dry up what's remaining of the the first initial thing that I feel is my skin is so soft. I've put nothing on my skin, just a little bit of moisturizer. I'm gonna apply my foundation now just to see how my foundation actually goes on. Wouldn't recommend putting your foundation on straight after the mask. So what I usually do after I use a mask is I will leave my skin to breathe for the entire night. I usually use a face mask at night, so before I go to bed or anything like that. So this mask gets like two thumbs up from me. It is amazing. I'm so excited for this mask. Definitely buying the full size it. I'm going to be using it maybe once twice a week from now on and I just think it is amazing. Come in and get the trial size guys if you really want to try it out. We can do it here in the pharmacy in one of our beauty therapy rooms upstairs. It's one of the easiest masks ever to take off. I like to use it with a flannel cloth because I know it's getting everything off. Eye area is feeling slightly softer and I've noticed that my dark circles have gone down slightly. Would it really conquer dark circles that quickly? So I really recommend it for those of you who are having problems with your skin or you maybe need something to give your skin a little bit of a lift. I definitely feel like my skin has been rejuvenated. One thing I will say though is I don't recommend using the eye mask with the space mask. Use one or the other because usually when I'm applying eye cream I will apply it the whole way out here to my orbital bone. I didn't feel like I could do that so do one or the other. So guys I hope you found this demo and review kind of helpful. They recommend for you to put it on two to three times a week. I haven't found any masks I love as much as this one and it is one that I'm going to be including into my regime. You can actually to use it as a spot treatment so apply it to the area of concern and then leave it on obviously till it dries and wash it off and it can help with just clearing up that breakout so I am going to keep ye up to date with how I got on with it afterwards obviously it's not going to start working straight away so it'll take a couple of days for me to see any results and I will keep you posted on that so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I am so excited for this glam glow range I've never been so excited for a range to come into the farms and I hope you enjoyed this deep in session review if you have any more questions in regards to glam glow please pop into we Lands pharmacy where the girls can give you loads of advice on what skin type you are we can recommend what products to use and recommend which mud mask that we think would work best on your skin type also if you like these demos or first impression videos please give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to you in my next video then bye